Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so I'm moving off of Swift uh, out of the Apple technology research to see how far it could get me. Um, I'm moving into now building out custom strategies and I'm gonna make videos along the way. The first one, um, all these strategies, pretty well everyone, I'm gonna be doing two or three of them. A lot of people just want strategies based around stocks and ETFs. So one of the best tools, because now I'm in Mac, uh, this can work on any platform, Linux, Mac OS 10, or Windows. So essentially, I've shown this before, I've just created a new uh, playlist called um, JSTOC, uh, the JSTOC scanner. It's more than that, I'm gonna, I, I have made it one video already on how it works, but um, it does get better. Okay, so, this is the current version, and uh, basically we can uh, look at the different regions in the world by country. Obviously, I think there's 27 uh, or 27 exchanges, but there's all the major countries you can see here. We're looking, of course, at um, U US right here. Now, they've made some big enhancements to this uh, software. We have a, a, a stock database, so you know you can look up virtually all the available stocks for this particular country, 7,800, 7,900. Uh, also, what we have here is we've got um, a watch list that we can set up. I'm not gonna get into that, a portfolio. Uh, I think that'll load up. Um, and, that, and they have an Android app, but uh, I'm just going to keep it to the desktop for now. But the cool part about it is um, you can set up scanners and um, indicators. So let's see if this will load up. So in this case, when you um, run uh, JSTOC, you can install a variety of them um, from the JSTOC server. So what I've done is I just pretty well installed everything, but one of the um, indicators you could use is this top gainer. So basically, obviously what it's gonna do, it's gonna go out and it's gonna find any, any stock that has a price change of whatever and uh, showcase that as part of a list. So, what we've got here uh, running is exactly that, is the um, indicator scanner we're running is the top gainers. So currently, you can see the market's down pretty bad uh, in the US. Negative 80, negative 88, negative 82. Um, but look at this, we still have some stocks that are doing really well uh, with a change of about 8%. Uh, let's say right here, in, in a really down market. So from what I'm learning, if you really want to know <laughs> Tim Sykes' secret strategy, all he's doing is just looking for breakouts exactly like this. Um, and uh, essentially, you can filter out, if you want to just look for, let's say, penny stocks, filter them out uh, by price. Obviously, through the open, high, low, and all that. So in a down day, we've got this one stock here, this TZF, Bear Stearns deposit is up by, uh, and here, is, is up by 125%. Uh, Not bad in a down day. Okay, so let's just see what's going on with this TZF. Now I can load in uh, my my uh, Yahoo Finance. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here, TZF, and uh, doesn't look like we can list anything. But I have no idea why this is listed here, but not in Yahoo Finance because the data is captured from the uh, Yahoo Finance saw. I have no idea there. Let's try another one. Um, let's try this VRA. So that's up 45%. Let's 
Let's see what's going on. If we can see anything visually, why it's up. Okay, so we do have some info. So you can see it's up by 48%. So what's going on here? So usually I like to look at what's going on in the news. So we got an earnings beat. So that's kind of what's led to it. But today is December uh, December 9th. So let's see if there's any news that we can use to lead up to our, um, there you go, three stocks that can make huge moves this week. Well, they did well there. Um, Trending now. Uh, Tuesday. Edgar, um, three stocks could move. Let's see what we got here. Change in directors or principal offers. No idea. Okay, let's just check another one because there was this, there was an interesting one. That, was, that looked like a penny stock. I um, just want to show you some. So we got this one, BB stores. Let's try this one. Uh, actually, yeah, this is this is definitely a penny stock. Paramount Gold, PZG. Let's see what's going on with this guy. PZG. I'm just looking for patterns here visually just to show you how powerful this software is. So it's up 30%. Today is December 9th, as I said. So look at yesterday's news. So what do we got here? Paramount assessment for its goal files SEC, October 6th, files SEC. So somewhere along the line here, this stock started to move up for whatever reason. Oh, I see what happened. No. Um, uh, Paramount Nevada Gold, Edgar Financials. Edgar Financials. Looks like this Edgar Financials may be interesting to watch. But um, let's see what, what else we've got here. Um, the BB stores. That's definitely been crushed pretty bad. Let's see what they got here. So I saw one that was easily being manipulated. So here's with BB. Uh, DB, come on. Okay, so let's pull up that one. Um, we've got here Tuesday. BB stores, online financials, four stocks under making breakout moves. That's today. Let's see if this. Uh, there's an interesting article. I'm just going through on the street here. Oh, uh, here. You can get the same service uh, using the street for the paid subscription, but here you can see you can get it for free using this software. <laughs> JSTOCK is open source, okay? So remember that. Let's see if there's any higher movers. We got a new one here, GF General GFNCL. 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 Win back my uh, Yahoo Finance. GFNCL. I think that was it. Yep, General Limited. Uh, let's see what's going on with this one. I kind of know I picked the. Site course, so I know the indicators that we use GFNCL. GFNCL. I don't know. Okay, let's move on from this. I just want to show you now. This this is uh, real time. Once this gets fully scanned, uh, 
you know, it, it can definitely um, be very useful. Uh, I can filter out uh, this even further, I'd imagine. Uh, let's try that out. Stock indicator. Let's change this. Uh, how do I do that? That's the question. I want to change this amount of property. There we go. So I'm going to change this to, let's say, 35%. Okay. And let's stop our, our scan. But you see the idea now. This is real time. So let's only go after, like, did I say 35? Yeah. Okay. So let's do another scan, see if it's any faster. We're going to do the top gainers of more than 35%. And then here we can scan the whole market, everything. We can uh, scan by industry. Let's just do everything. Let's see what happens here. Or actually scan on NYSC and just NASDAQ. See if there's anything on there that's worthwhile to go after. 29. So it's scanning everything. It's going to take forever. But you can see how it works. Um, now, again, we're only after ones that have a constant of greater than or equal to uh, 35. I have no idea why this these are getting... Uh, listed. Okay, let's move on to another country. I really, I want to choose a really small country like, uh, uh, I'd say even Israel. Let's see how big the database is. There's only 539 stocks, which is great. Okay, so let's apply the scanner. But we're going to have to change this probably to, um, uh, let me think here, uh, anything that's greater than 15%. Well, let's just say 20%, see if we get any. Okay, now we can also add in other fields here. Um, I'd imagine. I have to. I have to really play with this, but um, anyways, let's let's move on. Uh, we're now uh, I've done I've got Israel here. I'm gonna scan to see if there's been anything over whatever I put in was it twenty percent. I'm gonna scan everything on that market. See if there's anything. There's only 500, so this shouldn't take too long to do. But because um, the uh, US was quite a bit Let's see how long that takes. But once you get them in there, it's powerful because as I said, it's it's real time. So if the market's open, you can watch these um, stocks uh, in real time that meet your indicator criteria with this. You can see the power of this. Now let me show you the source code as we run this in the background. Now, uh, if you go into um, Google, look up JSTOCK, uh, and you come under here, I guess. Uh, we have um, 27 stock markets. Uh, we have the, the even a charting package. I mean, it's it's a pretty pretty powerful um, piece of software. Now. Uh, 
okay, if you're a developer, it gets even better. So what you can do is uh, if you go to SourceForge, maybe JSTOC GitHub. So that you have both applications here from this author. You have JSTOC and then the JSTOC Android. I don't know which one that would be, but I have no real interest in that. But here you can see you can get the source code. So you can install this right into your into your um, into your your IDE, your, your Eclipse or whatever. So I don't know, I'm just gonna show you something here. Uh, let's see if I can find something that's got some, there you go. So here's all the Java source code. So that's for exactly this, right? Pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't stop there. We have portfolio, so you could mock in paper trade. Um, and as I said, you can easily um, uh, change your indicators and stuff. So here's the thing. Let this run. Uh, so, so the point is um, running this against any any country that you choose right here. Uh, all the major ones: U.S., U.K., Canada, Germany, U uh, all the all the major European and um, uh, European and Asian as well, and even South American. And uh, it's very powerful. Uh, so you could run multiple instances of this against all your countries, uh, set all your different criteria, you're off to the races. So the, well, here's what I'm thinking is that I've got some custom strategies to be built out for, let's say, uh, to, to do these scans, look out for these kind of breakouts or something similar to this against options and be able to use this program as a signal generator and have it automatically add it to a certain watch list that maybe have a process in my, let's say, Interactive Brokers TWS that will start to watch, push them into Redis as I've as I, um, shown, and then have it work through um, a bunch of al algorithms that are the actual trading, um, uh, trading uh, you know, that, are, that are worth trading. So I think this is a great um, application uh, as a front end. Uh, for anything related, related around stock, uh, it's pretty powerful. And the um, problem is, is that uh, you got to remember that uh, Yahoo data is 15 minutes delayed, so you have to do take that into account. Um, but other than that, uh, it's a good piece piece of uh, software to play around with and so on and so forth. So there you have it, and uh, hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later.